Hello and welcome to anything and everything nerd style. <laughs> you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Dead serious. Now, without any further delay, please, let's get into the show. Hell yeah! Let's do this! I'm waiting! Turn up! Ah! Boy, I'm glad all that's over. Hey! Listen! Kayla will be right back. And when Kayla gets back, we'll start it like right away. Hi. Here's your food. All right. There we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. she's gone. <laughs> video, I just, hit the video button. I know. I just sent her a text. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Everybody ready? Yep. All right, Captain. All right, Jack Skeleton, you ready? Yep. All right. Hello and welcome to Anything and Everything Nerd Style. I am Clinton Ritchie. That is Coleman Ritchie. Hey. That's James Orr. Howdy. And we got two special guests this evening. My beautiful, lovely girlfriend, Kayla Mix. Hi. And Jack Skellington. Everybody scream. Everybody <laughs> scream. <laughs> Stop. All right. <laughs> So, uh, last week after the show, I asked y'all, you know, we all knew that we were doing Nightmare Before Christmas, right? What, what Tim Burton, uh, movie or universe would you like to actually be in? I'm going first because I don't want no one stealing mine, man. Okay. Beetlejuice. 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 Hell yeah. That's because that's one. an awesome world. You know, like when you die, you just, there's another world, but it's like dead people. Yeah. I agree. Zombies. <laughs> I have two. Go ahead. Can I have two? Well, you can go before me. We'll, 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 <laughs> yeah, let, uh, we'll let James go real quick. And then we'll let Kayla go. Um, I want to be in a Batman movie. Oh, okay. Batman. Okay, I'm going to go with him That's because fun. I was going to do Batman too. Let's go, James. <laughs> Batman I'm Batman, you're sweet. Robin. <laughs> Except I want to be Commissioner Gordon. Okay. <laughs> I like Marvel. I don't like Batman. So yeah, I don't like Batman. Batman's pretty cool though, especially the Tim Burton one. Man, Actually, he's way cooler sweet. than Batman, dude. And he don't have powers. He's smarter. <laughs> that funny. guy just has money and pays people to do shit. That's what that's what Batman does. At least Iron Man makes the shit up on his own. Makes his own money. Yeah, you're right. Okay, baby. Right, Kayla. Right, Kayla. Huh? She muted. She muted. It. Go ahead, Coleman. Oh. You do yours. So I actually have two because I couldn't really decide between the two. I love the craziness and chaos in Alice in Wonderland. Yes. But I also love Willy Wonka or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like who That's would Burton? want to have? Yeah. Yes. Who would not want to be around a land of candy and sweet? Yeah. Like, See, I didn't know that. Come on. Yeah. Johnny Depp's in it. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. That's, a, that's why she's a special guest. Right. I right. didn't steal yeah. yours, don't worry. I okay. wanted all the sweets and Charlie and Chocolate Factory and Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, you know, I would actually yes, do Willy, I feel uh, Willy like, Wonka. I feel like that's the same him. universe, uh, Coleman. They aren't. I feel like it should They're be. They're totally though. different. I feel like but, it should be. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you could create one universe with both of those... Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I'd be in heaven. I would, I would. <laughs> like that, that, that would remind me of like my younger years. That I'm, you know, those are behind me, and I don't do that anymore. But sad, the sad. disappearing Cheshire cat and everything else sounds like a blast. Right. All right, Kyle, go ahead and do your fun fact, please. Uh, I want to say something. If you think about it, Edward Scissor's hands, would also be a good one because that world is just perfect. Except for the whole, whole fact that there's some weirdo that lives up with knives in his hands when he doesn't know about life. It is, it is a perfect suburb. You are right. But I could not do perfect suburb myself. A couple fun facts, bruh. These are just a couple of things that I was reading on. Little things that people don't know. But I got something else after this. So Tim Burton was the producer, not the director. Because everybody thinks he directed the movie. He did not. He produced it. Oh, and apparently... 
the, the like, like this. This is a perfect example of how big they were when they did the claymations. This okay, is how cool. big Jack Skellington was. They were a foot tall. That's wild, yeah. right? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Um, but so he was the producer, not the director. And the movie is based off of a poem. It was not, you know, like written as a movie script or anything like that. It was a poem. Uh, and the original poem only had three characters in it, which I'm assuming he was one of them. I didn't he was one. That, but. He was one. Zero was one. And Boogie Zero was one. Zero and Santa Claus. Oh, was it well, Santa Claus? Uh, I thought it was Boogie. It was Santa Claus. Oh, okay, it might have been Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Santa Claus makes we'll, sense. We'll trust, because... the, we'll trust the special Sandy. guest. Uh, <laughs> Sandy Claus. The film songs were written before the script, which everybody knows who does Tim Burton's movies, which is Danny Elfman. Mm -hmm. He does the Batman. He does all that stuff. He does every single, any Tim Burton movie, you'll see Danny Elfman's name on it. Uh, and the fun thing about Danny Elfman, he was the voice of Jack Skellington when he sings. Anytime yep. Jack Skellington sings, it's Danny Elfman. Dang. The guy that makes, pr produces the music. What, and he, what, he what voices, is he in? He's in a. Uh, he's in all of them. He's in like the Batman. It's like he was talking about the Batman. If you go watch Batman, I thought it it'll sound senior. just like Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, I thought watch Coraline. A... Go watch uh, Corpse Bride. And all Danny Elfman has his own style. You know, you know when it's his music. I thought that he had a uh, his own band. What band was that? I don't know if he had a band. I thought he, I thought he had a band. My bad. No, he's a com I, to my knowledge, he's just a composer. Oh, okay. That he's been around for a long time. He did Edward Scissor's Hands. He did Beetlejuice. Well, what like, he like, did think about the Beetlejuice he song, bro. Think about the Beetlejuice song and the Batmans, the, you yeah. know, the ones with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and think about, not, they all sound the same. And it fucking, it actually worked out good because that dude, the singing dude, actually had a really close voice to the actual person, yeah. uh, actual person that played Jack Skellington. Mm -hmm. so. Maybe that's how they pull, pull Jack Skellington. They said, we need somebody that sounds just like Danny Elfman because he's going to sing the parts. I don't so, know. I have no idea. So, I've, I've it watched says that, that from from the early 1970s he was just a famous american film composer singer slash songwriter so he was just a very famous person in you know the hollywood scenes he was one of the most famous people for doing the writings yeah go ahead kyle he was Are you oh that stuff? other stuff i got some more stuff well i mean we can we can we can throw some stuff out as we're doing this you don't have to do it all right now <laughs> oh no it's fine it's fine uh, i got some stuff man i always thought it was claymation apparently it's called stop it's called stop motion animation stop, stop motion because yeah. there's because there's more than clay yeah clay would be like uh, rudolph the red-nosed reindeer you know like those old movies you watch the christmas those are all clay but apparently they use everything not just clay. i didn't know that right right uh, what it is, the stop motion is they take exactly there you go jack had 400 heads yep. yeah yeah yeah, so I'll here's some good stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to get at some stuff like that. So it took 600 artists and more than two years to make the Lion. King. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Oops. Don't don't mind that, everybody. My bad. That was from last week. Kyle, we don't have to throw out all the fun facts right now. We can throw it out. Yeah, it took 100 movie, artists to make the, the movie. Show. It was 100 artists to make the movie. It took three years making sets. Two years filming frame by frame. And then uh, two. Uh, it was 230 sets. 227 animated characters. Uh, most puppets stood about a foot tall, and were there were metal. There was metal inside of them, and that's I mean, that's what I got, dude. <clears throat> it also took uh, one week to do one minute of the show. Yeah, that's wow, wow, really? Yeah, so a whole week. How long did the take? Yeah, Shit. it was like, and yet, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Crazy. All right, well, he pretty much. Stole everything for the entire show. So, <laughs> said it all Howdy, folks. <laughs> ah, folks. <laughs> yeah, got it. All right. Okay. So, well, then maybe I shouldn't do the read. The read on this one then, because the read is really just yeah. Like, go ahead. On do the, the back of the cover. Do the summary for sure. Well, the the summary. I mean, it's actually it just tells you. It says uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Also, Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas. Is a 1993 stop motion animated music uh, musical dark fantasy film directed by Henry Selick in his feature directorial debut and produced and convinced convinced by Tim Burton. Yeah, conceived. I got something cool too. I want to say real quick. I got something cool. I forgot about that. I forgot that I was going to say. It tells the story of Jack Skeleton and the King of Halloween Town. Who stumbles upon Christmas Town 
and becomes obsessed with celebrating the holiday. I'm not going to read the rest of it because I think that'll cut into it, but that kind of gives us a good, you know, notion of what the movie was about, which is the write up on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to say something real quick. Uh, another, this is a fun fact I left out that I should have said. Uh, Disney did not one, want to uh, make, Disney did not want to make the movie, bro. They didn't want to because it was too dark and scary. That's how they felt, and Tim Burton kept pushing and pushing it on them, and they finally they gave, they came in and he did it. No, what actually happened was that he got he quit or got fired or something like that. Went off and started making other movies. Got super famous. Came back to Disney and said, "Look, y'all still have something that y'all." Uh, I read this out of a Disney book. <clears throat> he said that y'all still have something that uh, of mine that I still want to create, and that's whenever he pulled it out. So he I don't I read know. This out of a sure Disney book. Worked. I don't care. Clinton's actually right. I'm telling you. I've I read seen it. all the documentaries. Lindsay no. Stone. <laughs> I watched the him? documentary too. <laughs> like what it was, was he actually tried to negotiate to get the film from them and they would not release it back to him. So they finally agreed that he could make it through them. Yep. And then they still well, didn't. The part I'm talking about is it's just dark and scary. They didn't want to do it because it was it, dark. That's what it says in the Disney book. It's it a does, big well, fat Disney book. They didn't even, they didn't even uh, write down uh What's it called? They, it doesn't even start with like the Disney opening thing. It's it's uh, put it under something else because they still thought it was too dark and scary for kids. So they put it underneath another production company. Oh, so I'm right then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're also wrong. We never said you were 100% wrong. You're just, you know, <laughs> oh, well, that's what I thought. I was wrong. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, you were getting some of the facts a little bit mixed up. Exactly. Kayla, your screen's frozen. Kayla, make a fit, <laughs> put your eyebrows up or something. There you go. We do a little, all right. So how do y'all sure feel about how do y'all feel about the opening credits? I mean, opening song, not credits. Sorry, my favorite. That's, so that's the best right. song. This is Halloween. It is the best one. It's yeah. pretty epic. I disagree. Man. It's not the best song, but it is a good, solid song. Right. It's the best song of the movie. It's, it's probably the best song in the movie. <laughs> no, Sal Sally and Jack song is the best song of the band. That I I'm going to get into that wrong. later on. How I think that that was complete oh, bullshit. I guess that one's but, cool uh, too, man. We'll, we'll talk about I like it in a minute. Just I'm a, a lover, man. I'm a lover. Did you know? Did you, I have a theory on why Boogie Boogie was locked up. Sorry. Why? I don't feel like he was locked but, up. Um, he wanted to take over Halloween Town and call it Crawloween Town. And where it was dedicated to everything bugs, but Jack uh, punished Oogie Boogie by locking him under the um, kids' tree house. Huh. I don't think he's locked up. You Why don't you think he's locked up? I feel like because he's able to, everybody's scared of him, right? No, Jack's not. Well, I mean, Jack's not, of course. But that's his, like, that's they have his a like, secret dungeon. relationship. That's like his dungeon or something like that. That house is like his, his place. lair. Yeah, they they treat him well, like I he's think, a dragon, bro. I know that this maybe, sounds crazy, maybe. huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I know this sounds crazy, but I saw this wow. theory that Jack Skellington is actually Jack Sparrow. I was gonna ask right. you if you were gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so no, listen, listen. If you watch, oh, he cool, loves man. selling the seas, right? He's known through France and now England, right? And what is Jack Skellington known through or from? He's known from throughout France and England, right? Not to mention, whenever he pops up in James the Giant Peach, was actually, which is actually before The Nightmare Before Christmas, and Pirates of the Caribbean was before that, he pops up, and guess what he has? That they go down there to get a compass. And it's funny because Clinton literally says, he sends me the link to the video, and it said, Jack Sparrow is Jack Sparrow. And I didn't even watch the video. I go straight up to him and I go, bro, remember uh, remember that uh, uh, James and Giant Peach where Jack Skellington is down in the ocean? And he has the, and he goes, and what does he have? I was like, the compass? He goes, I was like, oh, shit, the compass. <laughs> so, and not, by the way, I know something about that because I've seen something on it. Okay, well, hold Tim on. Tim Burton didn't want to waste Jack Skellington. It was one of his favorite creations. So yeah. he put it in James and Giant Peach. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah. Well, anyways, um, I also feel like there is a way to get in and out of Halloween Town. We, we know that because Jack goes to mm -hmm. uh, the, Christmas. The, yes, he drops off all the, the presents at Christmas and stuff, right? So you're, he went from Captain Jack, who was selling the seas, and James the Giant Peach, and 
as Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, Jack Skellington, starts with an S, kind of similar, has a compass, goes, finds Halloween Town, becomes the new Pumpkin King, and Boogie was actually the Pumpkin King before that. He gets jealous, goes, and fucking starts causing havoc instead, and wants to ruin Jack's life because he took over his spot. Boom. I run this shit, man. <laughs> well, then her, 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 you know, thing could still be right if he's locked away. Because if I don't he was getting away. jealous, then they locked him away. He's trying to. He couldn't. He couldn't come out of that place. Well, we don't know. We never actually got to see it, so they never say that What's he's that behind James, bro. Is that like it? Is that like the it raincoat or something? I can't tell what that is. All right, it's your mom's jacket. No. Where's, uh, your, where's your beer today, James? Is that work? Uh, I'm at work, dude. I can't be drinking right now. Um, but if if uh, Oogie Boogie Man, right? If he is locked up, it makes sense because you never see him throughout the whole movie. Anywhere else besides his lair. Yeah. yeah. What'd you just say? I never thought about that his, shit. His That's what? crazy. His I lair. Say, his lair. If he was not locked up. Okay. He, <laughs> no guards. If he would have saw him elsewhere. He's got no guards around him. Mm -hmm. People go to visit him. That's his place, man. He's all locked up. That's why when the town meeting's called, he did, he's not allowed to come? Well, no, he just hates Jack Skellington. So oh. Oh, he, okay. he wants to get revenge. Yeah, he's the bad guy. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know what question you should ask? If you could have went through any of those doors, which one would you go through? Now, I'm going to say what I would have. I would have went through the one with the, the four-leaf clover, you know what I'm saying? Go hang out with the leprechauns and get smashed, bro. Yeah, you're going to try and steal their gold and they're going to kill you because they don't like James is coming with me. He looks like a fucking leprechaun with that beard. I don't on, think buddy. you need John to go know? there to just get smashed. You're already there half the time. The dude, that, the dude that wrote the songs, uh, did y'all know that he uh, wrote them in like two days? Yes. Danny Elfman? Each song, each song took like two days to write. He said it was you know, Danny Elfman. Yeah, he didn't even get he didn't even get Thanks given him, a, bro. He didn't even get given a script. He was able to, or they, they, oh, what's his face? I think it was Henry Selick. Some somebody would go in there and they would tell him like what's going to happen throughout the the next shot, and then he would write down the thing, and then two days later he'd come back and he'd already had the whole song wrote. So it, so was, it was actually like the, the girl who does Sally's voice um, in the movie. She's also was one of Tim Burton's friends, and she was the one who actually collaborated with him on a lot of the songs. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, that, that, like that. that was part of the, the documentary that I watched. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, y'all know, during that song, whenever, uh, you know, stop, stop motion animation, right? Took a week. Took a week to do, like, one minute, right? Something like that. Right, so whenever, they, you have to get so many whenever her hair was blowing in that one spot, I was just sitting there. Mm -hmm. After I knew th about this fact, I'm sitting there watching that. I'm like, God, that's got to be fucking hard. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my girlfriend's favorite part. Oh, when really? the wind blows and she goes, yeah, I and the who going through. There's three yeah. people in this world that I know love that movie. My girlfriend, my sister, and Kayla. When they call what? who's there. I and the who when they call who's there. She says, I am the wind blowing through your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My That's favorite part is with the clown. I am the clown. What's a terror white face? You're in a black and brown and rain. <laughs> That's not how that goes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I mean, it's close. It's my favorite part. Uh, I, that's how it goes. Maybe I just I'm the clown with a tearaway it. face, hair in a flash, and gone without a trace. Yes, yeah, okay. that is how it goes. Okay, my bad. I didn't understand you. Don't, don't Remember, yell at me. I can't. Coleman said I can't leave this chair, bro. <laughs> Lucky. Calm down, Jack. <laughs> Sorry, Sally's been fighting with me recently. So y'all know, know whenever doing. Jack first pops up, right? And uh, he catches himself on fire, and bursts into flames. It's because he's got all that straw on him, right? Well, yeah, I remember doing that. I remember horse, that. The horse that he's riding on is also made of straw, but that doesn't catch fire. <laughs> wow, Clinton, really? Is that what you're going you're to fucking make fun of me? I have to, man. Maybe, Look, I have to point out back that horse was wet when the before I let myself on fire. Retardant. Maybe the clothes were flame retardant, so the pants were causing it to where the the horse's outsides wouldn't catch on fire. The horse, maybe it was flame retardant. There's no way. His whole body was caught on fire. 
And then, no, if you disrespect me again, I told you why. I threw water on the horse before I swallowed that hot flame. Okay, <laughs> I know okay. these things because it was me. Okay, I I'll... did it. Okay, okay. Look, do you have a fucking uh, figures of yourself out there in the world? I don't see the little Clinton Richie fucking puppets. Do you see them? No. So just take my word for it and let me be right. Thank you. He said not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so okay. You know, you know, Jack Skellington's actually the scariest guy in town, right? Supposedly, that's what they say. But he sure looked frightened after the Halloween skit that they did at the beginning, and the witch and the vampires were coming up to him and walking all slowly. He's all back and we like, he's scared as shit right then. Am I wrong? I don't remember, I think, do you? I, I he's the scariest, think, though. Go ahead, Coleman. I think that what he was doing was he's also there to help make sure that all of them feel that they're doing their place properly. Okay. So, you know, it's like giving them that extra confidence that, hey, man, that's that's awesome how you're looking and everything else. He is in control. He's the one who helps manipulate everyone into doing their jobs the best for Halloween. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense, kind of. He takes and, uh, off as soon as he I can. Just put, he's like, I, town meeting. Or it doesn't really say that right then, but he says something. I'm going to put this out there, man. I don't want to be an asshole, you know? I got to watch what I say and stuff because, you know, I'm very smut-minded. But I just want to say, everybody talks about me, this, you know, me and Sally, blah, blah, blah. Because me and Sally, you know, that's my girl, you know? Love her death, you know? Always do. But that fine-ass witch, man, I tapped that the other day. Sally don't know. I'm trying to keep it legit low. So everybody, remember the witch with the big nose? Oh, my God. Gosh, that knows the things it does. Woo. <laughs> this guy. God weird. damn it. <laughs> Haley, you said you wanted to be on this one. <laughs> <Haley's> so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, by the way, I'm a juggalo too. I am a fellow juggalo. Whoop whoop. You know so what I'm saying? Whoop 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 whoop. Stop, Kyle. Bago, so, where my bago? <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> so everybody, everybody knows that everybody's dead in this town, right? What? Yeah, everybody's no, dead. Kidding? Well, I mean, either that or they're mythical creatures. But you know, this. So Santa because, Claus is dead. Oh uh, no, he's a mythical creature. So, anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, you, you know this. Dreams. You know this because he. Uh, <laughs> They give they give the uh, the doctor nightshade, which is a it's a deadly thing. Probably does. See, the I was hoping somebody said that on a fucking. Who did the questions this week? Kayla. I hope that was on the question. What the thing did he put? And you just gave it away, and I was like, "Fuck!" I was gonna get that point, and you well, fucked I that didn't up. Say his name. Way so to go, play. Kayla. Did you put that on a question? Mm. Oh, anyways, you were fucking asshole, when I was getting, when I was, when That's I was, my point. Nobody else gets it. What I was getting no, at, <laughs> what I was getting at though, okay, so everybody's dead, but fucking Zero's the only one that lives in the graveyard. He's a ghost though. He's, so he's dead. He doesn't just live in the graveyard though. He also has a, a, a bed at Jack's house. Bed and Jake's, oh, and Jake's you're right. house. You're right. Know what Good it job, is? Coleman. There's some zombies, bro. You could be a zombie, you could be a vampire, you could be a witch. You know what I'm saying? All the undead. He's a ghost. Which... And vampires <laughs> and vampires are, are undead. dead, but they're they, undead. They, That's what I said. They are, they they are dead, but they're undead. They they don't have graves. <laughs> they don't have a heartbeat, dude. <laughs> they have blood. <laughs> Not only because they take everyone else's. That's so, yeah, so how they stay alive. When when he's out there, they have saying, a heart. They have a heart. They have a heart, but it doesn't beat. So, um, yes, it does. Does it? Or is that yeah. only is that only in Twilight? Fuck that fucking glittery <laughs> ass bullshit. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid excuse for a vampire. Go watch Lost Boys. If you like viewers, if you like Twilight, go try to watch Lost Boys. Check that one out. So much better than the Twilight sprinkly little glitter pup. So when girls. he's out there singing the song, right, with the little thing that goes down what is what is that like the the famous picture pretty much with the yeah the where movie. the thing comes down i don't know what the fuck that is i can't remember the, the song i didn't i didn't write down the song on that one what did you call song? spiral hill spiral hill okay. good job and fucking sally's just creeping around the fucking thing stalking him yeah it's weird 
Yeah, it's, it's like, fucking annoying. I, she freaked me out at first, bro. And then I just, I was like, I mean, I might as well give her a shot. And now, you know, he just won once in Rome, you know. She fucking stalks him. And then he did stalk uh, me. She, he pretty much doesn't even know who she is throughout the entire thing. Other one, she gives him the wine and then she takes off running like a little stalker. And yeah. then, uh, at the end, he's like, oh, yeah. This is me way. off. We're supposed to be together. Dumb bitch. I don't like well, it. Well, he gets her to uh, make the soup. Yeah, yeah, I understand, dude. I understand. I love that part, really. <clears throat> he knows who she is, but she's shy. So, oh, like, yeah. he knows in the bedroom, bedroom, brother, really. not in the bedroom. And he's friends with uh, Dr. Frankenstein. That's not his name. Yes, That's it close. is. It's close. It's it's F I N K L. Finkel. Why would you Whoa. give that away, Coleman? Just in case that's on there. It's Finkel. Finkel. Uh, I, yeah, thought he okay. said, I thought he said Fickle. <laughs> my bad. Oh, I said Finkel. Look, dude. Oh, my bad. I'll Ray bullshit Finkel. aside, guys. I'm going to tell you straight up. When me and <laughs> Sally and fight, if you watch Sally, she her arms, she jumps off and her arm, you know, she, sew, she can sew shit up all the time. Her arms. So, dude, when we fight, she gets so pissed. Can you imagine what she sews up? She sews it up and fucking denies me what I want. The pleasures of my life. And it's bullshit, dude. And I'm not putting up with it. Uh, She's lucky I don't go to that witch bitch with the big nose. I'm I telling you. Considering you have no actual tissue on your body and your penis is not made of bone, would you even have a penis? I do have a penis. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like a ball. <laughs> it looks like a ball. It looks like a ball. You know what, what I mean? mean? <laughs> all the way. That fucking witch's nose goes straight in the <laughs> pelvic bone <laughs> and it's the best feeling. Sally's made of like straw and leaves. Yeah. So think about what the inside of her vagina would feel like. <laughs> it would be dry. No, it's fluffy. It's like fucking cotton. It's amazing. So I don't like, have any things. That's the thing. I don't have a wiener. I have only a pelvic her, bone. They skizzers it up, man. They skizzers it up. So, she it. sewed a wiener on me, dude, okay? I get feeling from it. It's all right. They have their catch fire. They're totally spot. <laughs> So on their way, it was on Jack's way to go find the trees and stuff, which he didn't know. He was just wandering throughout the entire night, right? He just walked all night until morning. Zero's playing with them. Did y'all notice that he grabs one of his ribs, takes it, and throws yes. it for him? I yes. freaking love that. Part. Zero's like, I want to play. I want to play. And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> I actually figured that was going to be a question. Like, what does he play? Uh, what's it called with? Uh, zero. Oh, I actually okay. thought that, that would be something too. This is funny. Up. I give you know away I mean? a bunch of questions throughout the entire thing, usually. Yeah, I know. Remember I, when I did the questionnaire thing? I said, damn it, Coleman. I said, damn it, Clinton. <laughs> you guys kept saying my fucking answers. <laughs> there were some good uh, questions I thought about writing on that motherfucker, bro. You have no idea. There were some good ones. Did you know that whenever he got to the doorknob to open up uh, Christmas Land, that was actually oh. the hardest... That was the hardest uh, shot for them to do because they had to get the, because, you know, it's all stop motion, right? So they had an actual doorknob there that was shine and they had to get like the good, perfect, like the perfect Jack Skellington in it to be able to twist it. Like it, it was just super hard for them to do. And then, you know, they each, each spot while he's moving his hand closer, they have to go in there and change them. So that just took them super, super long to do. And they say that. that what if they weren't a, a foot tall, bro? You think they'd have more problems, right? If they weren't a foot oh, tall. Yeah. If they were smaller. Be hard as foot. I was actually wondering how tall they were, so I'm glad that you showed us. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know. That's what my friend said. I wasn't supposed to say her name. I already said it earlier. I told her I wouldn't say her name. I accidentally did. Sorry about that, uh, Julie. Also, <laughs> did y'all also know that the uh, the uh, train, the, the clouds that come off of it, the smoke, and the clouds are nothing but cotton? They look like what? No, it's yeah. Well, it's nothing but cotton. What they did for the clouds is they took a camera and they shoved it through the cotton to get that little look that they had. Well, you guys so got a divisional game today. Though. How? Okay, he says, "What's this? There's white stuff in the air." Mm -hmm. Then how did he know to call it a snowball? I know they're throwing snowballs instead of heads. Yep. What's this? What's this? Yeah, they didn't. Yep, he didn't, he didn't know what snow uh, was. Have you, have you guys ever seen that video where it's like, fuck this, fuck this? <laughs> it's like a remake. The fuck? The fuck? Have to oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. <laughs> There's white the shit fuck. on the ground. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's amazing. The fuck? The fuck? 
Oh man. Dude, whenever whenever he's singing that what's this song and then uh he goes up to that to the elf that's sleeping and he's like sleeping dreaming <gasps> what's this and that he like wakes up <laughs> scared as shit hey it's like I you love say, that part. i was born without a, i don't have a penis bro right so what if he's like what's this <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm not supposed to say stuff like that i forgot it's hard dude i'm trying man did What's John this? notice? What did John that? notice what? Uh, like at the I don't even think What's James this? has got What's to that? talking during this episode. What did you say, James? Hi, James. Hey, how's it going? I'm just being. There we go. Well, I had to get off pretty quick. Get back to oh shit. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's move on a little bit. So, did y'all notice what they did for uh, for the alarm? You know what? We're gonna just in case she has that as a question. I want to skip that part. It was a cat, by the way. <laughs> I'm so. gonna skip it, and he says it anyways. What's the fucking? That's fucking kind of contradictory. I know. I'm not saying the questions. So we're gonna skip that, but it's a cat. Like door, it's it's like not a question. Do what? I like the doorbell better. Oh what? Oh the okay. Jack, okay. Doorbell. Yeah. Okay. The woman I'm, screaming. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Gives out a question and gives out the answer right after. It says we're gonna skip it. <laughs> so when she goes, if when she's feeding Doc Doctor Finkelstein, right, and she puts the uh, fog, frog's breath and the uh, worm's wart in there and stuff like that, she she look at her face. You just goes, gave a fucking question away. Look at Kayla's face. Look at it. You idiot. You did it again. <laughs> she she <laughs> knocks she knocks the thing away, right? And it falls on the ground and she grabs the other one and she uses that. Well, what if he wanted to use the spoon and he didn't just drink out of the bowl? How is she supposed to be like, oops, hold on. Let me, here you go. Here's the right one. I thought of that, I thought of that as well. <laughs> I was like, oh, how did she know he was just going to be like, oh, ah. <laughs> dog face it and stuff. I'm so confused about the question you're asking because I, the way I, I don't know. He, I mean, he didn't ask for the spoon back. Well, so it's confused. because he started. Hey, remember, she pulled out a new spoon yeah. and it had holes in it. She goes, "No, thank you. I'm not hungry." I yeah. never saw. And then she pulls out another one, and she has one with holes. Well, what if he wanted to use the spoon instead of just drinking oh, straight out of the bowl? Oh, you're saying if he took the spoon from her? Yeah. So what the fuck's this, bitch? <laughs> exactly. I'll that, that would have been that exactly hey, what he, he better said. not disrespect my girl, bro. I swear. <laughs> <You> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> If I was him and that happened, I would have said, I want no wonder you're fucking hungry. <laughs> or you're not hungry. <laughs> Never mind. That was stupid. No, that's good. 86. Hey, by yeah, the way, everybody... I'm my girl, James. I don't play that shit, man. By the way, him, right? by the way if y'all want to <gasps> hear James talk more, we have another podcast that's on the same channel, so you can actually go look it up. And it's uh, called Nerd Out Nerd Style. And we're talking about Andor, every episode that comes out right now. We'll probably move By on to something else. Out, it will be a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Yep. And me, me and Coleman have a new podcast coming out too. Our first episode is going to be Brokeback Mountain. Check us out. It's called. It's <laughs> 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 called Cowboys Doing Cowboy Things. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. All right. So oh. now, now we're entering uh, the Christmas Land song or the, the song, you know, whenever he comes back. And he starts singing the Christmas land. That's not the point of Christmas land, right? What did everybody think about that song? That's man, he gets deep in the fucking... He gets deep, man. He gets deep in that shit. He sees things he don't like. So what do you think about that? Like, I didn't like that that horse didn't catch fire because fucking <laughs> straw horses catch fire. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Maybe the humidity was really high down there. Well, I just yeah. think it's funny because, like, he refers to, uh, like, Santa Claus, Sandy Claus as, uh, like, a red yeah. lobster and stuff like that. And then when it gets yeah. to the, uh, when <laughs> he it gets that evil laugh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you're evil question. There's a question I want to say. That's Kayla right. wrote it down. I know she did. And you're fucking about to give it away. Just trust me. I put money on it. I put, because I said if I would write questions, that's what I would put. Right, Kayla? Remember the chalkboard? You remember that? I know you know what I'm talking about? Sandy Claus. Stop, you fucking asshole! <laughs> I win this episode. Fuck that. You're cheating. How am I cheating? 
and giving everybody my answers. He's just well, so he, excited he, that he actually watched a movie for once. Stuff <laughs> about it. Hey, yeah, I, really Lion King. Movie, I got right? some right. James, how much did I get right on Lion King? Oh wait, uh, who did Lion King? Coleman, dude. Three? Nah, bullshit. Three yeah, dude, you came in third. Yeah, you did a great job. That's not the rub I had. What the fuck? I won by like four points. James is a fucking cheater. I had his lead. I had lead on his ass. You can always go back and watch it, uh, Kyle. It was five, right? I got five right out of ten. I think you got five six. How do y'all think? How do y'all think that they did that? You know, whenever he's like looking through the magnifying glass, and it goes down and smashes that little berry. Yeah, yeah. That was fucking good, wasn't it? If that's stop motion. I don't know how the hell they did it. Yeah, because I said, "What the fuck? What's up with that microscope?" <laughs> there, that uh, uh microscope. Yeah. Like it went straight through. I was like, "What the fuck? What yeah, is he trying to examine?" He was trying to examine. Like, exa- I don't know. <laughs> cranberry. <laughs> I'm not too sure what he was trying to examine, but I thought it was really cool yeah. how he was able to break it, and then it, like it just squirts out like it does with all the seeds and everything. I thought that they did Dang that. Really nuggets. Good. Sorry. So. Let's uh let's talk about Mr. Sandy Claus and the the, the trick or treaters. Actually, I just want to talk about the trick or treater song. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Kayla, you're on mute. Yeah, you are on mute, Kayla. You better Kayla, on mute. You're like on mute. Fifteen minutes. No, I'm <laughs> well, shit. Nobody wants to talk about the really Christmas. Uh, thing, so nobody okay. nobody wants to talk about the. Uh, <laughs> Why you don't have claws? At all, well, we'll move past it. Yeah. <laughs> he looks dead. Oh, yeah, the lobster man. <laughs> you talking about the lobster man, Coleman? No, lock, shock, mm-hmm. and barrel. Do y'all know that they lock, supposedly? Do you know that they supposedly? Is that uh, the name of those kids? Yeah, I kept on saying trick or treaters, but nobody was listening lock, to me. What is it? I knew Nothing. It's lock, shock, and barrel. God, lock, 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 shock, and barrel. Thank you, Kayla. Lock, Thank you. Kids. Yeah. Thanks for the answers, Clinton. Thank you. Lock, shock, and barrel. All right. So, cool. anyways, I'm texting that right now to my uh, to Sally, so I can. Hey, what are those names of those kids again? <laughs> those whenever, little fucking troublemakers. I hang out with that bitch, Oogie Boogie. Whenever they're going to go, ass. when they're going to go trap, uh, going to go get Santa Claus. I feel like that song right there was one of my favorites. To be honest, that was probably. I would say that it's like maybe the third best song. Oh really? I kind of like. I do. Everybody likes the beginning song because it's original and everybody knows. But technically, the second song where Jack's sad, and then remember I said that it was actually supposed to be poetry. That sounds poetic right there. I've actually listened to it. Well, anyways, like hey, Jack, you know- how is it that you don't know the words to your own song? Ah, oh, dude, I had this fucking three day bender, <laughs> bro. <laughs> if Sally finds out, I'm fucking dead. Me and the boys, we went out, man. You know, we went yeah, over. We, are. we jump, we jumped doors, man. We went over to a fucking Thanksgiving world and found us some, you know, fine ass Indians, man. I'm telling you, Pocahontas looking ass. You know, we are Disney, so you know, we got, we got connections. I think we the correct through. term is Native American. That's why I said. No, we went. No, I did. Did I say Pocahontas? Okay, back, I meant what's back that one called? To the show. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, uh, like I was trying to say before, Lock, Shock, and Barrel are actually uh, supposedly represent uh, represented like by how they died. If you look, Barrel has green lips. And yeah, that, that's that, the fat one. Yeah, that shows that he drowned. Lock has blue lips, and that means he froze. And uh, Bear, uh Shock has a. Uh, they're like kind of. That's purple. the girl. Yeah, they're kind of like purple, and that's like uh, suffocation. No, because purple and blue suffocation, it'd be the same thing if you Freezing, drowned or something. Freeze? Huh? Freeze is the blue one. He froze the day. Hey. That'd yeah, be black, like, though. Have you would have, uh, what's that called? Uh, a That's game, just a uh, theory that I've no, no, heard on game. multiple different things. So. Frostbite. Frostbite. Yeah, but yeah. I've, you've seen fro- frozen people before. They're completely blue. Huh. I've never seen a frozen person before. Have you, Clinton? How do you look yeah. at yourself? <laughs> I've watched Discovery. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to bounce, y'all. Yeah, have a good right, later, afternoon. James. <clears throat> later, buddy. Later, dude. Bye. It's not even three yet. Peace out. I know, but I'm not working. Dear Mr. Sandy good. Claus, that's what it is. Dear Mr. Sandy Claus. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Mr. Ugly Fucking Man.
I love how they do. I can't even sing over again. What, Coleman? I loved how they went through the like completely wrong door to bring back the wrong person. Oh, dude, and, funny. and the way Good Jack, job. the way Jack gets fucking mad that they didn't do something right. Like he the whole time is like this. He's like this, blah, blah, blah. and then he's like, Wah. you know. I'm just saying. Yeah, they go to show pieces. why he's the scariest though. Yeah. That is actually the part that. Shows oh yeah, he scares them motherfuckers. He is he good or bad? <laughs> he gets fucking. Yeah, he does that off. all three of them. Block, shock, and barrel. He gets. I know their names off. now because Clinton told us. Hey guys, if that's on the test, watch me dominate. He literally. How do you not know? Him? Says their names. I don't fucking know what their fucking name. names was. Anyways, he. They, uh, they come in like doing cartwheels and shit. Block, shock, barrel. Yeah, I'm. I'm on like. Five hours sleep right now too, so I watched it at eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm trying to pick things up. I know I'm just saying. Go ahead, Clinton. Damn it. I Go ahead, read off your fucking stuff. book. We're gonna move on. Hey everyone, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button right there. It really helps us out in the long run. Now, back to the show. So when when Santa shows up and they are able to take his hat or Jack swipes it off his head. <clears throat> Y'all think that that's how he had all of his powers? Santa Claus's powers? Because, like, after he gets his hat back, finally he goes like this, and he flies away. Otherwise, he'd be able to do it from the beginning. Wrong, wrong or right about that? You talking about when he jumped up and goes out of the thing when he gets pissed off at Jack? Yeah, no, no, no. Hands were yeah, tied at the together. End, at the end, yeah. whenever, whenever yeah. he finally gets his hat back, he, he looks like he goes back in the chimney. Yeah. I think his hat's magical. Yep. That's what I was thinking. In, in multiple movies, it is Santa Claus hat that is the magic part. But if you also watch, they actually had Santa's hands tied together. So he actually could not have done some of his stuff because his hands were tied together as well. Well, maybe. Why did they have Sally that's, that's tied probably. up when she could just rip her hands off? Yeah. Don't I fucking like, talk about my girl, dude. She's I like, kinky. I also liked how when she jumped out the window and she just splattered on the ground and was able to just yeah, show herself. That's, I out. talked about that a minute ago. That that's badass. what I was talking about, how she shows her vagina up, remember? Sorry. My bad. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm fucking sorry. Shit. Fuck. So, uh, <clears throat> whenever, whenever a uh, Doki Boogie song comes on, and we'll get past that, of course. But everybody loves. He has a gambling song, right? problem, bro. I don't like Oogie Boogie. You don't like him at all? No. It's Mr. Oogie Boogie, man. Sorry. Uh, Doesn't I mean, he have a gambling problem, I, I, though? He understand. has a gambling problem and a torturing problem, in my opinion. Yeah, he's straight up um, into the other lifestyle, which is perfectly fine. I'm not going to shame. Yeah, I think he's Jack's just not. He's not my cup of tea. Jack's the reason he went all crazy. I'm going to tell you right now, that motherfucker is about to dump my girl in Santa Claus, right? Rose Snake Eyes. What does that mean? Snake you lose. Eyes. You lost already. Oh, but I get another chance and I hit 11. Come on, bro. You don't even know how to play crabs. Come on, dude. You lost. <laughs> don't kill him. You lost. And then you win on, on the second roll. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But see, in, in craps, so just to go, he rolls Snake Eyes every time. In craps, if you shoot Snake Eyes... And why doesn't he just roll the snake eyes again, which he always rolls? Yeah. That's how craps work. Well, craps, you have to roll the same game. number you roll unless it's a 7 or 11. No. you Off have the first exactly, roll. Exactly. Um, you have to match what you get on what the first you roll. roll. Unless so, you get snake eyes. Snake eyes is automatic movie. loss. Oh. oh. Either way, Snake this, isn't, this, isn't, this isn't a crap uh, podcast, so we don't even know. We're just that. talking golly gee willikers, man. Well, anyways. I mean, uh, what did he expect? He rolls snake eyes every damn time. Yeah, I know he does. He said 11, and then he hit it. Oh, snake no. eyes, and then he hit it, and then he got 11. Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying every time he actually tries to roll the dice. It's yeah, he usually snake always eyes. gets, yeah, he gets snake eyes, so why not? Yeah, I know, it's eyes? weird, right? So I guess, uh, I don't know. So did y'all, you know whenever he's dropping off their presents, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they're all fucking crazy ass uh, toys. Well, did you see the kids that were wearing Mickey and Donald's outfit? They, had, they each, they each had pajamas. One of them had a Mickey's <laughs> outfit, uh, Mickey's pajamas, and the other one had a Donald's pajamas. 
And the toys that they dropped off were actually Tim Burton's version of Mickey and Donald. Oh, I remember those toys. Yeah, the the shot up duck with the teeth, and yeah, um, yeah. and then the and then the vampire. Yeah, the weird looking mouse type thing. Interesting. No, thing. it was a vampire. It I don't was know a vampire. Was. The vampire. The vampire. The uh-huh. vampire made it, and it was straight up a vampire. It was a vampire mm-hmm. doll. I don't know. I'm just saying the ones that they that got delivered to those kids. I looked at both of them. They were weird looking. When they're shooting up at Jack, right? They're shooting up at Don't Jack. Fucking dare. They they were coming after you and you know it. And he thought that they were like just like throwing a parade or something for him. Celebrating. <laughs> yeah. He's like, watch out, you almost hit me. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what time are you talking about? When he's flying through the air and they start the shooting military. all those missiles at him. Yeah, the artillery oh, shell. Oh, no. I thought it was fourth of July. That's <laughs> it's Christmas though. You're giving out presents. It's not Fourth of July. Come on. I don't know when the fuck Christmas is. They were do. celebrating how good a, a job he was doing. <laughs> yeah, they thought. <laughs> yeah, that that shit was funny. UFO, bro, shoot it down. I love how he's like, I've ruined Christmas. And he's like, but I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, really, you fucking quoting me, making if it was news. just if it was just his part, he actually did a pretty decent job I, on I his did. part. The toy makers are the people who ruined Christmas. Yeah, and he told they them, totally would have. No, done don't talk a about my job. fucking people like that, man. Don't not talk about my. They did a good job, bro. Go ahead, Coleman. Who does not like a shrunken head? You, you know ad- what I mean. You admitted that you ruined. Christmas I know, I did fuck because up, of the man. toys. Yeah, but you did your best. I tried. <laughs> Way to go, Sally, you dumb Dude, he bitch. Got, he got new ideas for next Halloween. Yeah, Dude. why can't you just be like Kayla, you yes. dumb bitch? And how to exit my house. Serum. When they, when they went to go make the, uh, whenever he asked her if she could make this, and she goes, that'll never work. He goes, just follow the stitching or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> Sorry, I had yeah, to I ain't, talking about the sti- I ain't talking about the stitching thing, dog. Yeah, I already got trouble for that one. This will never work. Of course it will. <laughs> she stitches. She stitches both. I get pissed off. If she does one, it's all right. Anal works. You know the, the Christmas tree she has that catches on fire is yes. a, a replica of the tree that catches on fire in Jack's house? Ooh, yes, I, I did. didn't know that. I did. I noticed it. Good job, y'all. Caught something I didn't. I that wasn't one of your and questions, it, was it? That, no, whenever, she, whenever she pulls the flower, it turns into the Christmas tree. Yeah. It was right after the wine. It was right after she dropped the wine off and she was hiding. And it was the exact tree that him and Zero were next to. I saw some theories that uh, she was like a witch before she died. But she was made by Frankel, Frankenstein, so I don't know. But maybe she had another soul. Maybe. Hey. That, no, maybe, maybe, maybe she was into, a witch and got chopped into pieces. Bam, 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 bam. And then when she dies, somehow she ends up a, yeah. together. That's actually yeah. that's actually the the theory. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jack Skeleton. Really? Yeah, Jack Skeleton supposedly burned. She tells me, bro. She tells me. I know. <laughs> she told me. That's what she told me. She used to be a witch. Got chopped up into pieces. Thrown in the fire. Wasn't that's why it she has that pale gray skin, bro, because it's really... And actually, that's actually Jeez. pretty funny because another one of Tim Burton's movies is Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. The new and one? that's about what you... I think so. Yes. Bullshit. Is it really? I think so. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, You're talking about the one with that. The, that. Uh, the with one with the guy Hawkeye. that plays... Uh... Okay, yeah. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. the role I would be in? Fuck yeah, dude. So, it wasn't it kind of convenient that he uh, got shot out of the sky and landed straight into a graveyard that led straight back to Halloween Town? Yep. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it, it, it leads huh? to a cemetery. Right. And the every, cemetery, every cemetery, all the cemeteries lead to the other realm of cemeteries, which is in Halloween Town. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to fucking trust you on that. Hey, a question? Why? Okay, so like when they go to the realms, right? You see the Easter egg, you see Santa, you see the Christmas tree, you see the Halloween town, right? Oh wait, he steps out of it, right? 
Doesn't he? How does he get to that part where there's in the woods? He Is walks all night. Home? He just walk. Yeah, he walks all night and into the morning. And, and then, then he, he comes just... up to these trees where there's nothing but realms. Okay, so what the fuck's beyond that? What's beyond that shit? If, what if he kept walking? I don't know. Well, he didn't want to. He found the Christmas tree. But why that does it take him worlds. all night long to go there? But whenever Lock, Shock, and Barrel go, they're able to get there and back well, like, see, way faster than him. Who I knows the about, timeline? No one knows the timeline. Yeah, I, I thought about the same thing. And the thing is, is uh, they it had was Christmas... showing the days counting down. Well, so they, I get that. They had the. Uh, they also had the. Uh, the nighttime Christmas or Halloween party that probably ended at around twelve o'clock, so it was probably only like five hours till daylight anyway. Come it's still, on, it's like a long way to fucking send kids. My opinion. They also <laughs> had that call tub. Do I? Oh yeah, they had that yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, tub. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, Good but job, Jack babe. Skeleton's got long legs. That call tub isn't going faster than Jack Skeleton's long Bullshit. legs. Bullshit. Bullshit. True. <clears throat> what do y'all think about the uh, Oogie Boogie fight and Jack Skeleton? Dude, Jack was going to whoop him no matter what. Yeah. Hold was on, nothing. I want to go back to that. You think you got, you guys both think Jack Skeleton would outwalk that bathtub? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. He can yeah. leap He can leap further than that bathtub. Them tub legs are like this tall, man. They're, they're, like, real fast, man. they're like four inches. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright, alright. Okay. You might be right. He, they, he might be faster, but if you're in that bathtub, you can kick it. You ain't even got to be fatigued or nothing. And he was walking slow, all depressed, like he didn't know what was going on with his life. Because they could have took a nap. For some reason, he says like multiple times throughout the movie that he doesn't have his memory. So he's like lost his memory. That's also another reason I think he's Jack Sparrow. I mean, those guys probably fucking just kicked and passed out, took a nap in that bathtub. And then, bam, thing. we're here. How does that thing know where to go? It has like no head. I don't fucking know. Magical. It's magical. Okay. I mean, just like it's magical. In, okay. Just like in Kingdom Hearts, huh? You just jump on it and it like either What's goes Kingdom Hearts. And it goes around in circles or it'll like take you to the place and back. It's pretty cool. What is Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Let me see. Hearts is a video game. It came out on PlayStation in 2000, 1999 or 2000 or something like that. It's actually oh. the best best place. Do you think the message of Nightmare Before Christmas is because most of Disney movies have a message. Best place. What, what do you think? I have no idea, place? Kayla. What I is mean, it? it? Don't fill yourself I, with bugs and you'll end up like fucking Oogie Boogie. That's what it is. No. It's, uh, <laughs> there's no better, there's nobody better to be than yourself. It is poetry. I, I agree. It is poetry, like I said. I, I was going to say that like you should always stick to what you're good at and you know have the confidence in that while still be willing to learn other things, but don't ever get down on yourself. So that's kind of what yeah. she said in a shorter term. Yeah, like going fucking you like you're like, oh, I love my life, but I'm going to try something. Like I'm now I'm sad and I'm going to try something. Oh, look, Christmas Town. I'm trying to do something different, but it just not work. It doesn't work because you have to be yourself. Right. And when he does be himself, it kind of ruins it. Would y'all rather be in Christmas Town or Halloween Town? Huh. Halloween Town. Come on, dog. Y'all don't like Halloween Christmas? No. <laughs> Serious, bro? What do you think I'm Halloween gonna pick? Town would, just guess, Halloween just guess Town. Just guess what I'm Come gonna on. pick, dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, I would like you'd be Coco, in Fairyland. But... Fairyland? <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Isn't it weird and super creepy, actually, how, like, uh, the doctor made uh, himself a wife? Why is that creepy? Huh? No, that's my girl, dude. No, 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 no. No, no. At the end of the movie, he makes another female. Yeah, he puts half of his brain in it. Yeah, that looks like her. We'll have intelligent conversations. Exactly. You're talking about Sally Dog. I was about to have to come over, you know what I'm saying? I know you did. I know your boy Carl Powers, bro. His brain, how are they going to have any conversations? Because the stuff that she knows, he don't know. The stuff that he don't know, she knows. Well, technically, your brain only uses like certain areas. So she exactly. Well, exactly. unless he knows, how to, his fucking unless brain, he knows dude. how to fuck with it, you know, he's probably he done scratches it. it. He had, oh, man, had my brain just, open, let me get that. So he's already messed with his brain. He made fucking goddamn skeleton bone reindeer fly. So I'm just saying. 
He's a smart guy. He fucked with his brain and made himself smart. So he probably unlocked all of it, put it all on one separate sides, and then, whoa. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Jack Skellington in here. I know my mood came out a long time ago. If you look, I'm trying to grow a beard. It's very white because I'm getting. I'm already dead. If you I'm getting older, dead. If you haven't seen, you know that the doctor was supposed to be Doctor Frankenstein. No, I didn't yes. know that. He has I mean, Igor. I, you know, he has his Igor. Yes, he does have Igor. And in the very beginning of the movie, you can see uh, Dr. Frankenstein's monster. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I remember that. Hey, what's that one movie that Tim Burton made that like, has Frankenstein in it? Uh, Frank and Weenie. Yeah, Frank and yeah. Weenie. Yeah. There's a theory that movie. Jack and Zero are uh, those two. That's what I was thinking. That's why I brought it up, because I was thinking yep. that shit. The dog from that movie. But they said it wasn't, so. And then uh, they also say that it's supposed to be the corpse bride or something like that. Well, yeah, because if you look at Zero's ears, they're long and floppy. Mm -hmm. But. Their ears not. are fucking weird, bro. That's yeah, there's weird a bunch of dude, And they get you thinking, and then sometimes it's like, ah, probably not. For all my fellow Zelda, Zelda fans, we're going to do Zelda sometime. And there's a theory for uh, Majora's Mask, where it's Limbo. Who and likes who all. likes the ending? Who likes the ending of the movie? Well, that, it's like got the best song in it. Oh, the beginning's the best. Full part of, of the movie. shit is what it is. It's all bullshit. They put them yeah. together at the end of the movie because they're like, oh yeah, we forgot to, we forgot to do this throughout the movie. Let's make it happen at the end. That's what happened. Oh, yeah, That's I'm what really have no Jack. faith in love. Faith and Love, she was creeping, stalking him the entire time, and then he asked her to make her a fucking suit. Uh, doesn't understand a word she's saying because he <laughs> keeps saying different shit. She's like, "This he will walks never up work." To her, he's dude. She doesn't walk Girls, up to him. He walks up to her. Girls no, are shy. She, she calls they always him. expect oh, the guy to come first, and then what it is is he was so mindset on doing what he was doing. That's why he wasn't understanding. Right, so after, after he sees Don Dr. Like Finkelstein so with his life. wife, he's like, oh, I think I need one of those. And walks up to Sally and be like, hey, you want to do this together? I, I talk weird, man. I don't like it. I keep saying <laughs> him, but it's me. I walked up to her because after I seen her up there on that hill, I was like, she cares for me a lot. I can have opinions. And I said, I should sing to her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I forget the lyrics, man. I'm getting old, man. I've been dead for Everybody hundreds ready of for years. Everybody ready for that quiz? I'd be forgetting. Wait, no. Yeah. Least favorite parts. Uh, Least favorite part about the movie. Credits. <laughs> the mayor. The mayor? Yeah, Why? The mayor is pretty lame, bro. I'm only an elected... Uh, individual here. An elected official, yeah. Oh, ele uh, yeah, elected official. <laughs> I can't make decisions on my own. <laughs> but that's so true. Look at Jack. politics. Sorry. <laughs> I can't even tell you my favorite, my my least favorite part. You guys are all getting mad at me, so I'm not gonna say. It. Go ahead. That's what we're here for. Uh, I don't. What? I don't like the Christmas part. I hate it. Oh, I, don't don't like I don't like snow. I don't like snow. I don't like. Christmas is all right. It's just not my shit. I like it's I definitely not Halloween. I, like I don't Christmas. care about fucking putting ornaments on a fucking tree. I don't care about putting, doing all this shit, putting stockings up, wrapping presents and stuff. Taylor does that for Halloween. Like we to, have no, a Halloween I like tree right now. Eat fire. I looked over turn. at my tree. I was like, <laughs> we have a Halloween tree. Fire eater, man. So. I, you know, <laughs> my two favorite holidays are St. Patty's Day and Halloween. Well, my least favorite part. Can anybody guess it? Yeah. What? When Sally hooks up with me. The yeah. end. I'm jealous. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made that because Sally hooked up with me. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite part? Game, part. You know what I'm saying? The credits are the worst part because I think they could have. It it was a very good movie, and they could have done more with it and you know back in 93 like an hour and 20 minutes was like normal but imagine if you did it like now where movies are average two hours two hours and 20 minutes two and a half hours 
yeah. you know, what they could have added into it. Right. Yeah. That's why I was I'll saying like, about stuff they like that. could have added some of the stuff that explained some of these details that you're like, well, I don't like this part about it. And I don't like that part. Like, that's what they could have done is added those details in. Right. Yeah. And, so the and credits like Clinton, are the worst. And like Clinton, like, you know, I understand why Clinton's mad about the whole fact that he, uh, that I hooked up with Sally and stuff. It's because he didn't have enough stuff in her fluff. You know what I'm saying? I have my Sally right there. You damn. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Don't. Are you talking to Clinton, bitch? <laughs> 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 Haley, you should go She's... get some tattoos of stitches around your arms and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, be cool. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you go get tattoos of selling, I'll get tattoos of Jack. Yeah, Clinton. that's not gonna go oh, Clinton. anywhere. No, he's with Sally. Oh, Do you not my, hear him? My eyes tattooed like this. <laughs> like, <An> asshole. <laughs> Hard pass. No, you should Can get tattoos of Paul. You should, sorry, you should, go ahead, Kayla. Fifteen seconds of fame. Go ahead. Bam. <laughs> Go. Are we gonna do this quiz? Yeah, I'm ready to do the quiz. Wait, no. Hold on, I'll say one more thing. I, okay, I didn't know you were saying the quiz thing. Clinton should get a bone tattooed on his uh, uh, what you call it, uh, um, <clears throat> arm. Favorite parts? The whole movie. You can't. Well, oh, I you actually, I, I love. I, I think my favorite part is whenever he locks himself up in his tower and he's doing all the experiments mm -hmm. and him and Zero are going through everything. And, like, that's just uh, that kind of part when he's up there trying to figure out things. I think that's my favorite part. What about you, Kyle? Me? My yeah. favorite part is the beginning. The song? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. My favorite I like part. that song, bro. Even a band I listen to called Pathways, they do it, they redo it, they do a lot, like they play a lot of scales and stuff, sweeps. Or Kayla, do an you, awesome song. Have you said your favorite part? Go ahead and say your favorite part. My favorite part is when Zero tries to uh, show Zach uh, or Jack a picture of um, Jack with a pumpkin head because he didn't really want Jack to do the Christmas thing either, like Sally did. But he tries to, you know, remind Jack of who he is by showing him a picture with a pumpkin head. Yeah. And then Jack turns it into a Santa Claus. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> Sorry. My favorite part is probably Kayla's uh, least favorite part. I like it whenever the, the mayor is like, Jack, <laughs> I'm only elected <laughs> official. I can't do this on my own. <laughs> hey, when he said that this morning, I was like, that's crazy, bro. Hell yeah, fuck Biden. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Sorry, I don't have no political views on anything. I love Biden. All right, let's get to the quiz. Kayla is actually our special guest. Is going to be doing the quiz today. So if y'all ever want to come on the show, hit me up. Uh, or me. text me on my anything and everything. Just, I don't know. I guess I'll put something. If anybody wants to come on the quiz, let me know. What in the hell is going on? Eight. If anybody wants to come on the show, let me know. My bad. Was it just me or did he go robot? Me? Yeah. It was just you. It's Damn, all free. that means there's going to be a scene where I'm like, I'm the one like, because you were like talking and went, I was like, oh shit. Right, everything's good on my side. Oh shit, that's me. Fuck. I got paper. Don't worry. Coleman. Y'all should what? all try on this. Y'all should already know all these these answers. Oh, we covered that much of it? Yeah. yeah. So I don't get a win this week. Fuck yeah. Nice. <laughs> I might lose since everybody knows them all. I don't remember now. Now I'm confused. Tell me when you're ready. Things will matter. <laughs> I'm ready. Sorry, go ahead. Finkelstein? Sorry. Everybody She's waiting for you, Clinton. Fuck. I was ready. I've already said it. Oh. What are the names of Boogie's kids? I'm not even doing this. It's Boogie's boys, just so you know. That's a girl. Okay. Do I have to write it down, really? I mean, they're know. called Boogie's boys. Yes, yeah, right now, Kyle. The girl. I'm done. Hold right. on, I'm writing it out. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Oh, no. Hey, smoke barrel. <laughs> Don't worry about it. 
Ready? Here, lock, lock, shock, and barrel. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I got a point. <laughs> Taylor, you got to keep track of points, too. <laughs> Oh, oh, honestly, you're, if you would, right, like, like, Kyle, like, Kyle, 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 Kyle honestly, if uh, hold on, if you if you would have been paying attention to most of the other shows, he would have known that a uh, bunch of the questions already get said, <laughs> but he never um, actually listens. <laughs> so you also need to tell us like Do when, a point, like if a question is worth like more points or three points or. If it's just oh, one I point. Did, I do. I had a couple of them like that, but James made one that was plus four points just for one question. Mine was oh. if Rafa, if who was the first to attack well, Shredder? Okay, who was the last one? We'll, we'll talk. We're, we're not talking about that right okay. now. What is the name of the doctor? Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to get you, this right. I'm not even writing it down. I'm saving some space. I'll say something last. Yeah, you, you might want to say it out loud. Doctor Finkelstein. Finkel matter. Single matter. Oh, you got it wrong, Kyle. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Finkel matter is not. You know what, the name. Kyle? You have to write it down because I don't know if you actually knew that one. He said it like last question, but yeah, I know I did. Fuck that guy, man! Stop sticking up for him, Sally. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. What is the first holiday mascot that the kids bring back? I said that. I said that one. Fuck! I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we did all say shit. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny. Good job. I can't win this one. This sucks. <laughs> I'm going to forget. Oh, she's going to say one that I don't even know and everyone's going to get it right and I'm still going to come in last. What songs? What song does Jack have the band attempt at the town meeting? Hold oh, on. okay. Hold on. Okay. I know this. Oh. Hold on. I need a second. I can't remember it. I was even talking about it earlier today with I you. It. I got it. Fuck. Because I looked at that. I was like, I wonder if they'll put that as a thing. All right. I, I might be wrong, though. I think I know what it is, though. I don't know, man. Are we ready? Yes. We're Have a holly jolly Christmas. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Oh, is it jingle bells? It's jingle bells. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> you're up. kidding me! See, I, I thought that was part of Here Comes Santa Claus. What did they say like, now? The cool kids? Like, dun, Let's dun, go! Dun, 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 I'm in the dun, lead! Dun, dun, dun. Yes! Dun. Yes! But see, I thought that's Here Comes Santa Claus. And that's what I, I don't know. Was, Christmas that's why I wrote that. I thought it was Here Comes Santa Claus. Dun, 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 I'm stoked, bro. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so excited. That's what I, I that's never am in the lead. I'm Kayla, pretty, I'm I'm we're going to have one. to fucking Google that and see if that's actually right or if I was right. No. <laughs> Remember it. That's why I, I said, give me a second. I have to think song, about so. it. it, it was, I'm sure mm, Kayla is right. And my head goes, there's a head inside the guitar. It goes, well, what is it? And then, dun, 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 dun. All and right, it sounds all Google. This is Kayla's part, man. Go ahead. What? He's talking too. Get on his ass. Chris, this is this will be three points, okay? What does Sally put in the doctor's soup? She puts three ingredients. We talked about this already. <clears throat> Baby, you gotta say some stuff so it's not like uh silent. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Uh, that's perfect, actually. I'm done. Did you know that um, Oogie Boogie was supposed to be the doctor in disguise, but Jim Burt or Tim Burton yes. hated it so much that he kicked a hole in a wall? Oh, I didn't know fact. about that. <laughs> I didn't know about the other part. Wormsworth, Nightshade, and, uh, and Frog's Frog Breath. Breath. Good yep. job. Y'all all three. Yeah, did, you win. did you get the Nightshade? I didn't I get the Nightshade, nightshade on his. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's nightshade. It's actually deadly, bells, deadly nightshade. Breath, worms were uh, nightshade. I figured you weren't worried about the deadly part. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm yeah, about to win this one. Sleep. Nightshade. I just put you to sleep. It's How what? many fingers does Jack have? 
Fingers? Fucking, fingers? Oh, shit. Yeah. All together, um, like both um, hands? Are you counting thumbs? No, just one hand. Are you counting thumbs? Thumb is a, counting as a finger, yes. Oh. Four. That's it. Why is mine so easy? You were going to put what, Coleman? I, I was... That's what I had, but I marked it out, so don't give me the point. <laughs> he's like, no, oh, no, 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 Finally, one I stumped y'all on. Yay. <laughs> oh, I, I remember it. I'm trying uh, to remember the scene. Okay, I got it. I'm pretty sure. I'm but you have to sure. understand, too, I, was, I had a seven-year-old around me messing with me the whole time. I don't, I don't know if this is right. Hold on. I'm not ready. What? You better hurry up. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'm, pro um, I'm probably wrong, to be honest. And I'm hoping I'm right. As long as I'm right. I don't. I don't remember when they first... Uh, I'm going to say... Hmm. I mean, it's to each their own if it's intimate or not, though. I mean, Jack might not have thought it was intimate. This one, yeah, and you guys are going to fucking take the lead. This is bullshit. I said Finkel Matter and at his house. Bullshit. I said the governor and at Jack's tower. I said the mayor at town hall. That's Yeah, the mayor. That's what I meant by governor. No, you said the governor. Governor's different than the mayor. It's the same thing. So it's the mayor and Oogie's kids, and they're in Oogie's lair. Okay. When he's the like, got the mayor right, right? Don't give me those points. After well, then we're, then everybody's Oogie. wrong, then, right? Uh, oh. Everyone's wrong. We didn't even get all the people. Well, I mean, we had the. And you said governor. I have yeah. the only one who said mayor. I meant the mayor, though. You know what I meant. It doesn't <laughs> matter what you mean. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was li literally sitting here thinking, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm pissed off. Coleman's going to take the lead on my ass. I was like, damn it. I didn't get yeah. it. I don't try to cheat like y'all. You know, if I don't get the question right, I don't get it right. You know how everybody says that you look at the computer. <laughs> that was Dude, the very first one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is what my computer looks like. Yeah, it looks I'm like not, it's on the Google I'm screen. Funny, dude. I'm oh, just I'm like, like people go, hey, what is, did that guy like look at his computer to get that answer? <laughs> no, I don't. That I was have to be that typing. Sorry, dude. Stuff, I don't be an asshole. I'm sorry, Cole. I, I don't have to be an asshole. I'm like, I have to be typing, moving things on my screen. Like, no, it, it's good. Damn, it's good. there's, there's you're a good, lot. You're good. good. I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's I good. mean, I have lost. I have lost a lot. Like, what is our fifth episode? And I've lost everyone. The last one. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the creations that we see of Doctor Finkelstein's, what is this? What does he give the second creation? I don't know. See, I didn't watch the end of it because my daughter kept messing with me. So this shit bullshit. No, it's, I just not lost in, it. it's not at the end of it. Second creation. I probably got it wrong. Fucking no. I don't fuck. Uh, um, um, uh, it's I okay, Kyle. I think you won this one. Half his brain. Kill. A brain. Yeah. Brain. Brain, no. It's the reindeers and he gives them life. Electricity. But hold on. Kayla. What? Kayla, what? I, I disagree because he started working on her, shows her that he's working on before he starts working on the reindeer. Yep. And that is why I remembered because he just finished her later on. But it shows him working on her. If it's if it's brain, reindeer. if it's brain, then me and Kyle tie. Uh, Kyle tie, and if it's not, Kyle wins. How about that? Boom! You asshole! There you we know go. what? I well, said, am in the said, movie. I know she, the answers. She said. She said it was the reindeer. I'm just saying that's what got me confused because I was gonna go with the reindeer because that's who he completed next. But I was like, but I it showed him gave... working on the other one first. Yeah, I could have sworn that he didn't really Kayla. give them anything. Kayla. He just Special made them one. come to life. He gave her his brain. That's the only thing I know. Hey, That's man, stop interrupting about. Kayla. Kayla's talking, dude. Who won, Kayla? One thing. Kayla, who won? 
Well, I don't know now because. Kayla, <laughs> <laughs> hey, based off question of what you said, though, based off your just, questions, you you were the reindeer one. because he completed the reindeer, and the reindeer were up and flying. Okay. Yeah, but did he? Uh, I mean, I guess he gave him. I thought he gave. I'll, 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 I'll give you the. Two. I thought he gave. Yeah, Coleman told me unless, I can't attack you, bro. I want to run unless, back there and uh, unless the, uh, given the brain first Kyle was what? there before, like the reindeer were completed. If the gave, jingle bells, then it was. Kyle there, was it's one. all good. Good, congratulations, Kyle. Yep, congratulations. Jingle bell song, dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no way. Fucking wild. That was it. Taylor, who won? Who's the winner this week? You. Kyle, who? God, Kyle. Skeleton. Your damn butt. skeleton. Or is it Jack Kyle Skeleton? Win. Good job. Kyle hasn't won nothing. Jack Skeleton. No, no. Uh, he's, he oh, has barely ever ass. gotten oh, any oh, points. Oh, oh, <laughs> went that route, didn't he? Didn't he? He did that, didn't he? Damn it, Sally. I Don't said, worry. I want to. I want to rewatch it and make sure that he didn't give the brain over before the uh, deer were came. No, we're away. not doing that on this episode. Oh, he didn't give the brain before. He gave the brain after the reindeer. But the whole thing is, is in my opinion. He actually has to use electricity to bring them all to life. That's why I put ill because yeah. I didn't know but what the, the fuck only else thing to that say. I knew, yeah, he uses the so electricity right. to bring them to life, but he it actually gave his use. brain. I almost put electricity. Right. That's, that's why. That's why I was confused. But it's all good. It was a fun. Hey. It was fun questionnaire, and I loved it. I liked it. We appreciate yeah, your help. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Coleman, I almost put that's electricity because right. I was like, I don't know what the fuck to say at all. And so I was like, I'll put ill because you know ills, you know electric ills and shit. I was like, you know, you never know. I was like, I don't remember. So. All right, Kyle. <laughs> at, least I got the, at least I put mayor, not governor. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid motherfucker! I said, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, dumb bitch. Hey, don't talk to women like that, dude. Oh, oh she's, she's not a woman. Traditional. She's actually uh, stuffing. Yeah, stuffing she's made of fucking uh, leaves and twigs. Man. He's a rag doll. You're a rat. He's literally right. cotton, bro. And all you are is bones. <laughs> no, well, what do you mean? Out, you look like Kendall down there. Don't be don't have, Come on, bro. I don't have a fucking penis, so you're making fun of me? Have a, you don't even have a heart. <laughs> what? Okay. What's your point? Yeah. What's your point? Wow, you're going to make fun of me like that, Coleman? Fucking Kyle. bullshit. See what you did? See what Kyle. you fucking did? Take us what? out. Oh, sorry about that. Sally was just pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, check us out next week. You know, we're going to be talking about some cool stuff. Anything, everything, nerd style. Next week, we're going to be talking about Hocus Pocus because the second Hocus Pocus is coming out soon, which I believe is the 30th, right? September yep. 30th. It might be That's out. That's when the new Hocus Pocus, Pocus comes out. Check it out. It's going to be an awesome-ass movie. Everybody loves Hocus Pocus. I mean, you know, I thought they do, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways... Hey. You guys, come check us out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Down what? in the comments, make sure to vote whether you'd like to see a uh, 40-year-old version, uh, 9, uh, Beetlejuice, or uh, uh, Halloween Town next. That way we can get everybody's information. And come join our Facebook. We got uh, weekly polls on that one, too. Unless we got something already planned. So come check that out. It's awesome. Now make sure... To get the fuck out of here. Hasta la vista, baby. Till next time. That's all, folks. Thank you for tuning in to Anything and Everything Nerd Style. If you enjoy the show, please follow us on all social medias, such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a good one.